Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a very new topic which is higher order linear difference equation with constant coefficient. So before we start this topic, let me tell, let me made a one remark that this is difference equation, not a differential equations. Okay. So there is a huge difference between differential and difference. In differential equations, we have continuous functions and this difference equation is for the discrete data. Okay. So the outline of this video lecture would be, first of all, we will see the application of difference equation followed by the definition of difference equation and then we will see what is the order and degree of difference equation and later on we will see the homogeneous and non-homogeneous difference equation and at last we will see what would be the solution of non-homogeneous difference equation and homogeneous difference equation. So without wasting much time let us start with this. So the applications, so difference equations has its application in numerical method to solve partial differential equation. There are problems in turbulence that can be solved with the help of differential equation, but this difference equation gives a new approach to solve problems in turbulence. Difference equation is also has its application in Fourier series, algebra and analysis. Okay, now let us start with the definition of difference equation. So what is difference equation? An equation involving the relationship between the independent variable and the differences of the dependent variable is called as difference equation. So after the definition, let us see some elementary examples of difference equation. So for example, I am writing here is uh, say del 2 yx plus delta yx is equal to x cube plus 1. So this is one of the example of difference equation. You can have some more example or you can write down the same example in terms of the different uh, in terms of the shifting operator okay so as you know that delta stands for e minus 1 so you can write it as e minus 1 whole square yx plus e minus 1 yx is equal to x cube plus 1 okay then you can apply here like e square minus 2e plus 1 y of x plus e minus 1 y x is equal to x cube plus 1. Okay. So this, uh, this is nothing but the solution. This is nothing but the example of difference equation. Okay. Now after giving the this difference equation, let us see the general form of difference equation. Okay. So I am writing here. The general form, the general form of difference equation, difference equation is, so you can write it like y m plus k, say here I am writing a0 plus a1 y n plus k minus 1 plus a2 y n plus k minus 2 plus and so on a n uh, say y n is equal to v n. So earlier you have seen here, here the dependent variable was x, here I am writing the dependent variable x, dependent variable as n. Okay. Now this is the general form of, this is nothing but the general form of difference equation. You can write down this in terms of E also, okay? Because you know what is 
what is y n plus k y n plus k can be written as e to the power k y n so with the help of this we can convert it in terms of shifting operator as well for the time being, I am writing it in terms of uh, say like this e a0 e k y n plus a1 e k minus 1 y n plus a2 e power k minus 2 y n plus and so on e power 0 a n y n is equal to v n okay now you can collect y n term and the rest of the term is a0 e k plus a1 e k minus 1 plus and so on last term is a n taking y n common is equal to v n that is you can write as f of e operating on y n is equal to v n this is nothing but the general form of the difference equation now so this we write it as y n because this y n y being argument it takes only the integer value that's why we are writing it as y n not as y of n or we write in the other way around y of x instead of y x instead of y of x okay so this is all about the definition and the example of this uh, difference equation later on we will uh, we have seen what is the general form of difference equation now let's move on to the order and degree order and degree of difference equation order and degree of difference equation so when we talk about the order of this difference equation what we need to do is here the order is nothing but the highest subscript the highest subscript let me write here highest subscript minus lower subscript so what is order Order is the difference between the highest subscript and the lower subscript. Okay, so this gives you the order. The only condition is that the difference equation should be free from the operator. Okay, there should not be any operator involved. Then only you can easily write down the order. Okay, and what is degree? Later on we will see the example also. What is the degree? The highest power of the dependent variable is nothing but the degree. So I can write highest power of dependent variable, highest power of dependent variable is called as degree of difference equation let me write it difference equation the only condition is it must be free from after in bracket i am writing free from operator okay so if you want to find out the order and degree of the difference equation make sure there is no operator involved Okay, now, so let us uh, take examples in which we can work out with the difference order and degree of difference equation. Okay, suppose you have equation like this, for example, y x plus 3 minus 4 y x plus 2 plus 7 y x is equal to a to the power x. Suppose this is my difference equation and I wish to find out the order and degree. So what is the order? So if you understand this definition, I would like you to pause the video for a few seconds. Try to write down order and degree with the help of this and then resume the video. I hope you might have got the answers to this. 
so what would be the order highest subscript minus lower subscript so highest subscript is x plus 3 lowest subscript is x so what is the order 3 i hope you have got this and what is the degree here degree is nothing but the highest power of dependent variable which one is the dependent variable this so what is the highest degree in all there is only one so degree is one so let us make the idea more clear by taking one more example. So suppose you have y of x into y x plus 2 whole square plus say 7 y x into y x plus 2 plus 9 y x is equal to x cube plus say 3. Okay x cube plus say 3x. So what would be order here? Yes, what would be order? Order is the highest suffix that is say this is to be x plus uh, yeah x, this is x plus 2 say this is x plus 1. So if you can see the highest suffix is x plus 2 lower suffix is y x. So what is the order? 2. And what about the degree? This is very interesting here. As you can see, we have dependent variable y. So what is the highest power of y? 2. So degree is 2. Easy. Okay, now depending on the values of this vn, we have two types of difference equation. So let me remove this first. Okay. Now Depending on the value of this Vn, we have two types of difference equation. Okay, so let me write down here types of difference equation. Types of difference equation. So there are two types of difference equation. One is the homogeneous and second one is the non-homogeneous. So for homogeneous, if Vn is equal to 0, in this I am talking about, okay, if Vn is equal to 0 in 1, then, then difference equation, difference equation is said to be, difference equation is said to be homogeneous, homogeneous. We write it as h. Okay? And what would be the other way round? Yes? If vn is not equal to 0, then difference equation, then difference equation is <coughs> said to be, said to be non-homogeneous. Non-homogeneous. Okay, in short we will write it as NH. So depending on this VN, we have two types of difference equation. One is homogeneous and second one is non-homogeneous. Now we are at the last part of this video lecture. That is the solution of difference equation. So in the solution of difference equation, again we will make use of this homogeneous and non-homogeneous. So for, for homogeneous, for homogeneous difference equation, the complete solution is, the complete solution is, what is it? Y n or Y x, whatever it may be. Okay, depending on the equation, yn is equal to cn. For non-homogeneous difference equation, the complete solution is, the complete solution is, yn is equal to cf plus 
PR. Okay, so this is what we have in this learning video. If you have any query or doubt, you can write in the comment section. Till then, thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning mathematics. Thank you.